Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. See, you know, in boxing, man, the promotional game, man, is is it's like chess, man. And that's where all the major money. It, it you can't make money without good promotion, and good promotion includes like behind the scenes stuff and, and basically maneuvering yourself to get the best fights at the best venue for the best time. And in this particular situation, behind the scenes, if you look at it, Floyd Mayweather outsmarted all of the top promoters. He outsmarted Oscar De La Hoya and he outsmarted Bob Arum up top ranked promotions. And the reason I say this, man, is because the executive director of the Nevada Athletic State uh, Athletic Commission, Mr. Bob Bennett. He basically said the reason that he approved this fight, that's what his job is. He approves the fight in the state of approved fights in the state of Nevada. And he said the reason he approved Mayweather and McGregor was the fact that at first he was having problems with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this dude McGregor, he's never fought a professional. Imagine he wanna go against the best in the world. He was wrestling with it. He was saying that, you know, though Floyd is Asian, he's 40 years old. He's been out of the ring for two years. That's the reason, you know, that I might can let this go. But but still, McGregor ain't been in a ring at all in a professional match, though he has good striking ability in the UFC. But the thing that pushed Bob Bennett over the line to approve this, ladies and gentlemen, was the fact that Bob Arum proposed Manny Pacquiao and... Golden Boy or Oscar De La Hoya proposed Canelo Alvarez to face Conor McGregor. And Bob Bennett looking at it like, hey, man, hold on. If y'all are willing to put y'all best fighters to face this dude, then that means this has got to be a credible thing. So, no, I'm going to rock with it and approve it. And that's exactly what happened. So Floyd basically outsmarted Oscar and Bob Arum in this particular situation. So, you know, knowing that information now in, in, in my mind, I'm going to say this, man. Hats off to Mayweather, man. Hats off to TMT. Hats off to Mayweather Promotions. Hey, man, you can't even knock this, man. This information is out, man. When I seen this, I'm like, hey, Floyd, I was smart. Knowing that these two major promoters were willing to do it because if Floyd didn't do it, they, they were going to get it. Nah. God damn. That says a lot about how Mayweather moves and him and his camp moves behind the scenes. Real talk. So to the next video, Main Man, Main Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Main Man 511, Facebook, Main Man, Main Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man, Main Man. Damn, Joe. I mean, the dude probably wouldn't even, the dude Bennett probably wouldn't even approve it. Who knows? But I know the pressure was up on him. But he, what if he wouldn't have, uh, have approved it? But the fact that the other promoters was willing to take this thing is the reason he gave it to him. That's crazy. To the next video. Peace out.